Welcome to a new video. People wanted me or asked me to do a retest of the Google Pixel 6 against the Xperia Pro i in dark or night situations. So I'm doing this right now. So let's get started. So this is a recording with the Google Pixel 6 1080p 60 frames per second, the main camera. And of course I can go out to the ultra wide angle and it gets a lot darker because it has a smaller sensor smaller aperture so it's a lot darker and yeah almost unusable in uh, dark situations it's not completely dark as you might see eventually let's go to the normal lens so you might see that it's completely dark here i'm in a brighter area right now so let's compare it with the xperia so now the same situation with the xperia pro eyes main camera lens and you yeah, you be the judge who is better, 1080p, 60 frames per second. What do you think about this one? And uh, yeah, car passing by here. Uh, what about the quality of this video here in the dark situation? And I will switch to the ultra wide angle. I have to stop recording for this and then we can compare the ultra wide angle as well. And as you can see here, the ultra wide angle of the Xperia Pro i, the same issue as on the Google Pixel 6. Uh, it's just simply darker, smaller sensor, smaller aperture. In the dark, you don't have much of an option to record video with this one here. Uh, you need some kind of light or something to fill up otherwise it is a bit too dark with the ultra wide angle so what we want to do right now is check out some photos the xperia pro i and the google pixel 6 in darker conditions dim lit conditions night conditions the pixel 6 always on the left the xperia pro i always on the right on the first glance we can see brighter exposure on the pixel 6 completely dark situation here glad that both can figure out something can show something because i could not see the items here on this little desk so the pixel 6 brighter exposure but sharpness stitching has uh, suffered here you can see either it is like some noise reduction or it is the stitching process you can see that the bottle and the text on it is a lot more sharper on the xperia pro i though the xperia pro i has more noise definitely and the darker exposure next photo semi light conditions again the same issue on the xperia pro i a bit of darker and you can see it here on the edges as well it's getting a bit darker and brighter exposure on the pixel 6 so if you check the sharpness in general the stitching still has a problem on the pixel 6 even with the january security update and the xperia pro i gets the sharper shot here when we take a look outside we can see white balance sometimes completely fails or does something very yeah weird on the pixel 6 completely blue here for some reason even the sky is blue even though the sky wasn't completely not blue and the light here was not blue the light was this yellowish warmish orangish kind of that the xperia pro i photographed here and you can see the night sky was really looking like this in terms of sharpness i think there's a bit of sharpening open sharpening going on in the pixel 6 or the pixel 6 just looks sharper look at the sign here but in general colors the xperia pro i shines there makes them more realistic and the pixel 6 i don't know it failed in this uh, photo here when it comes to zoom lenses, the Pixel 6 doesn't have a real zoom lens. The Xperia Pro i has a 50 mm zoom lens. And uh, I told you about stitching issues that I saw with the Pixel 6. It gets a little bit more even when you crop into the sensor, of course. And if I zoom in here, you can see, yeah, it's not readable on the Xperia Pro i. It's also not perfect, but at least you can read what's in here. But when it comes to yeah, overexposing, overexposing, overexposed areas, you can see that the Pixel 6 handles this a little bit better here. It's uh, tuning down the uh, lights there. When we come to the next photo, you can see again, brighter picture on the Pixel 6, not always as sharp on the Xperia Pro i, a bit cooled down, colors a bit more realistic on the Xperia Pro i. The red of this tram is really that red and not this pinkish kind of light red that we see on the Pixel 6 and lights overexposing in this case both on par nothing much of a difference but you can see a bit more sharper on the xperia pro i a little bit less sharp on the pixel 6. when we go into the next photo we can see also uh, problems with white balances or if there are a lot lots and lots of colors they do different white balance a bit more warmish on the xperia pro i a bit more coolish on the pixel 6 the real picture the real deal is somewhere in between so it wasn't as green um, as on the pixel 6 here this wall or on the xperia pro i when we take a look at the sign here the xperia pro i tuned it a little bit down here the color um, but i think the uh, pixel 6 has a bit sharper 
exposure here and uh, yeah here it's a bit overexposed here also a bit but it's a bit sharper in general and uh, you can see it also here at the bikes that the pixel 6 one here definitely though a bit cooled down here again and this is more the kind of color i saw with my naked eye here that the xvr pro i was capturing in general the sharper picture with the pixel 6. when we take a look at the next one again sharper picture with the pixel 6 for some reason both are very sharp i think that the pixel 6 maybe is doing some artificial sharpening here too much but it looks better and the xvr pro i looks a bit soft here in this case both kicked in night mode and auto mode but of course you have the possibility to also go into manual mode if you want to with Xperia Pro I. The ultra wide angle shot here looks a lot brighter on the Pixel 6, looks a lot darker and dimmer on the Xperia Pro I. The Xperia Pro I true to life, more true to life, this is what I saw with my naked eye and the Pixel 6 yeah, makes a daylight out of a night photography basically but when we zoom in you can see that there's a slight difference in sharpness again the pixel 6 has this like mm, yeah, less sharp picture and i think if you take a look at the license plate here the xperia pro i is a bit sharper a tiny bit as well when you take a look at the window here and there that the xperia pro i has a little bit of a sharper picture but the brighter exposure you get with the pixel 6 definitely and then when you take a look at uh, autofocus and autofocus speed in auto mode, both the Xperia Pro I yeah, surprised me with auto mode that was working like I would have it to work or like I want it to work, like following fast moving subjects like this car and just taking the shot. It just doesn't kick in night mode or if it kicks in a little bit, then not as long as of an exposure as the Pixel 6 where the Pixel 6, I just simply missed my target here. You can see that the car is not in focus. It's not what I wanted to achieve. And yeah, again, not in focus, not what I wanted to achieve. Again, not what I wanted to achieve. So the Pixel 6, I could not take a photo with night mode of fast moving subjects. It's simply not possible in auto mode. You have to explicitly disable night mode on the uh, Pixel 6. Otherwise you get just such photos here where Everything else is sharp, but the car that's moving is not sharp. And when you disable it, then you get also a nice result in auto mode, but not as nice as on the Xperia Pro i. So I think the Xperia Pro i has in this case a little bit of an edge. And of course the Pixel 6 has an artificial mode that can jump in here as well and can create this. You just stand here, take the shot and it's uh, then a blurring out, uh, detecting the car blurring out the background and you get maybe a lot sharper car but then it would be yeah, uh, artificial computational photography and not really real photography that I wanted to check out here. I wanted to check out focusing, I wanted to check out a little bit the auto mode if it's clever enough to turn the longer exposure uh, so much down that it uh, is able to do. You can see uh, the exposure here also a lot brighter on the Xperia Pro I than on the Pixel 6 because the Pixel 6 is still doing some HDR that the Xperia Pro I completely disabled because it noticed okay fast moving subject disable HDR. Of course you can also do manual exposures and this is what I tried here and this is now on the Pixel 6 with night mode on the Xperia Pro I without night mode just I cranked up the shutter speed a little bit um, higher uh, a little bit lower and the ISO a little bit higher and uh, on first glance oh, it looks pretty similar a little bit more punchy colors on the Xperia, on the Pixel 6 a bit less punchy colors on Xperia Pro I but when you zoom in you can see that the auto mode on Pixel 6 and the night mode worked a little bit better more details uh, less of a noise and here we have noise especially you can see it here around uh, here a bit, a bit of softening up maybe also on the Pixel 6 but a lot more noise on the Xperia Pro I and it's not as sharp as on the Pixel 6. So in night mode, I cannot, manual mode in night mode on Xperia Pro I where you have long shutter speeds, I would just recommend you using a tripod. Not always possible, it's not always possible, just go and use the uh, auto mode. Here again, the same uh, kind of uh, scene, auto mode on Xperia Pro I against Pixel 6. Of course, the tram started to move, but you can see the colors again, more clear, the better colors on the Xperia Pro I, a bit more overblown highlights as you can see here on the Pixel, it is less overblown. And when we go to the ultra wide angle, we can see ultra wide angle versus ultra wide angle, um, a little bit darker exposure on the Xperia Pro I again when it comes to sharpness. 
I think the Pixel 6 has issues again with stitching or with sharpness in general. I had some photos where they're completely unsharp. I did not have this in auto mode with the Xperia Pro I. Um, at least if I have an object that's directly in front of me, sometimes like this uh, here, it could like focus on this instead of the rest. So the rest gets a bit unsharp, but I still have always have sharp photos. And here on the Pixel 6, I don't know where was it focusing. Everything is unsharp. So something went wrong with the stitching, I guess. On the Xperia Pro, I have the possibility to have another shot here now. Uh, to ha I have the possibility on the Xperia Pro I to do also manual mode and if I do manual mode wide angle slightly different angle but you can see what I can do how I can change the scene how I can play with the scene I can create this long shadows here with, of course the car was going there uh, get this other kind of uh, white balance uh, other kind of uh, color there and yeah have all the flexibility in the world to play around with shadows with lights and especially in the dark it makes a lot of sense get the exposure a bit up get the exposure a bit down everything like this i can play around with xperia pro i in manual mode so this is always a good thing but in general i would say because you can see if i zoom in you can see it is not always sharp so the the one i took earlier here has a better exposure with auto mode night mode kicking in stitching together has a better sharpness overall than the manual one where I don't have this op opportunity to do such things and uh, yeah this is basically everything now so I would say they are on par um, of course the Pixel 6 is doing the job like usual uh, manufacturers of smartphones do like brightening everything uh, very very much up even though it's not always sharp denoising a lot the Xperia Pro I is not doing this it's trying to get you the picture that you really saw with your naked eyes maybe a little bit brightened here maybe a little bit as uh, uh, yeah also softened and maybe like uh, also ha having yeah prefer noise and have it sharper than having a very aggressive denoising algorithm that makes everything a little bit unsharp so what do you think about uh, those two phones and the shots that you saw right now i think they are both on the same level the pixel 6 has a bit of better computation photography and I think it has a better highlights keep in check so they don't overexpose the Xperia Pro I has a bit of difficulties here and there but I think the stitching is still not the best even with the Google Pixels January patch it is still not the best when it comes to stitching and you can see it in some of the photos as well otherwise of course the manual mode on the Xperia Pro I has a big advantage and this is what you can see in some photos that yeah they are simply yeah you have more cre creativity you have more creative influence on the photo itself if you want to take it otherwise both are very good the pixel 6 with the slide edge for the auto mode in certain situations not always as you saw in the photos otherwise yeah what do you think write it down in the comment section that's everything for the short video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye